My name is Alexis Limbang and the title of my presentation is Training for Dialysis Technicians in Orange County, California. Uh, my learning objective here was to gain more insight on what it took to become a dialysis technician. Um, my dad is one right now currently, so that's what interested me initially. Uh, he's been one for very long at the VA hospital in Long Beach, so I wanted to know wh what it took and how long it was and how crucial it is to his job position right now. Um, what I gained through my research is that there are a lot of different cases and complications um, from patient to patient and training is proper training is very crucial to the job. It's a, a dialysis is a machine that acts like an artificial kidney to patients that have dysfunctional or um, damaged kidneys or maybe even no kidneys at all and they need to rely on that machine in order to um, do the job that kidneys usually do for us. So it is important to have that human interaction which is the dialysis technician to administer kind of the, the process in between um, the filtering of the blood and the waste and the water that the dialysis machine does for the patient. Um, since the machine is very high tech and it's very vital to the patient's life, the technician must be properly trained to handle this, these machines in order to manage the number of risk complications um, a challenge that is all too common in dialysis tech is that um, the improper use of machines leading to all these complications and maybe even death or just worse things. Uh, I can use my dad easily as an example. I hear him all the time talking about his, uh, talking with his coworkers on the phone after work about like things that uh, it's like situations that happened that shouldn't have happened because him and his like maybe he was having a problem with a certain coworker and they didn't communicate properly and the su the patient suffered because of that and they had more complications than they uh, needed to deal with in the first place. Um, I would say maybe if they were properly trained or trained more than they are now these um these situations wouldn't happen because they would know that communication is one of the most important aspects in a workplace especially when dealing with the patient and their lifeline um one day on the phone i did uh, speak to him or hear him talking about a complication that occurred uh, with a patient due to the lack of training and the communication between the workers and I did ask my dad when is the last time he got retrained to refresh his skill sets even though it is um, it's been a long time for him he already knows what to do he's probably been a dialysis technician for 20 years now but it is important to ask because Machines are very high tech and there can be updates to these machines and the use might be totally different and you have to be very, very comfortable with these machines. I'm sure the machines he used when he first started working in dialysis is not the same as the, as we use now. It's probably more complex or even more simple. Um, but it's important to get those refreshed skill sets. And he said he hasn't, so... Um, that's important in order to to gain, keep that expertise in the workplace. Um, the changes in technology definitely influence an organization's entire system, making the new training and education necessary. A solution that can be implemented is to properly train these technicians and even retrain these technicians that have been there for a while like my dad um, because work gets monotonous and that can lead to lack of attention and skill even though I want to assume that my dad is like the best worker there I know he probably there are some days that are worse than others and he probably missed something he didn't have much attention to the details that he should have and maybe um, a patient kind of had to uh, not say suffer, but a patient could have made it maybe could have been treated better 
Um, how we can do this is that managers can administer performance reviews and provide feedback where it is needed. Um, they can use the needs assessment approach to determine the gaps in functional training and development of dialysis technicians. Um, their training design should include include accurate and accurately outline the objectives. They should communicate to all the dialysis technicians in the organization and they should ensure they are all thoroughly understood and that these training um, initiatives must be implemented. They are not just, oh, you can listen to them, but it's your choice if you want to implement them. They should be implemented. Um, these are all essential to dialysis technicians. Um, I hope this gained more insight of the importance of the training of dialysis technicians. Thank you.